Hello guys and welcome to one more Rhino Says Yes and in today's video we take a look at a racing game taking place in the animal kingdom. There's no rhinos in it but there's sloths. It's a unique racing game where you try to be the first sloth to collect all the leaves but you're too lazy and too cute to move around on your own so you attach yourself onto other animals and they carry you around. Let's see fast sloths. In Fast Lofts, each player starts off from a different tree on the map, picks up the first leaf and places it on their player board. On the map, there are six different types of animals which you have to bring to you, hop on them to cross the map and hop off again. The player board tells you how many cards you collect at the start of your turn from different animal stacks. The animal cards start from a low movement number and go up as they get collected and they go down again after the stacks get depleted. In your turn, you can play as many cards as you like from your hand from the same animal type. The animals all move in a different way and can cross different terrain types. The simplest of all are the donkeys that don't have a special movement, but they know the job well and you can find three of them on the map. The elephants are rather slow, but they can throw you up to three spaces away with their trunk from where they stopped. The crocodiles can move through the river and adjacent riverbanks. The eagle is like a taxi. You call it and comes from anywhere on the map, but it's rather expensive. You need at least six movement points to call it and it moves you up to six spaces. And we also have the ants that form a chain which you ride and hop off at the end of it. There's also one rare unicorn, but you can only play a single card to move it. Apart from those, you can vary the game using other types of animals like rabbits, giraffes, dolphins, orangutans, mountain goats and a human. When a sloth collects the last leaf of their color, the game ends and that sloth probably is the winner. In case of a tie, the sloth with the highest total sum of movement points in hand will be the winner. If there is still a tie, well, you're all far too lazy to care. This game was a very pleasant surprise to me because you look at the cover and think oh, that's a cute little pick up and delivery game but that's not exactly the case. It's still super cute but there's lots of planning ahead to be done and you need a strategy. You cannot afford to lose turns where you don't manage to move that much or lose the animal you had your eye on to another sloth. As the animals are not that many and the board is big, you might find yourself stranded in the middle of nowhere with no animals around to carry you. And the more leaves you collect, the less cards you can get and the lower your hand limit goes, which creates a very interesting arc in the gameplay. It's definitely unique and peculiar and it's a great choice for gamers and for families as well. So Rhino says yes to fast loves. You should definitely check it out.